Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast on um, between Bosu Hei and a Sokol here on um, Turtle Rock right now. So Sokol, Sokol responding over here on the bottom right hand side as the yellow orc player. Meanwhile over here on the top, um, on the middle left hand side over here what I'll call the 9 o'clock position or 10 o'clock position we have Bosu Hei spawning as the blue undead. Altar of Darkness and Crypt now coming into play with a single ziggurat and pretty much a standard opening from Bosu Hei as opposed to anything crazy. And the la I just casted the, the one of the craziest games I've ever seen. Um, but anyways, if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and check that one out. It's probably going to be casted and, or posted sometime on Monday, um, February. Excuse me, February eighth. Don't drink Pepsi while I'm casting. And, okay, right now we have an altar of storms, orc burrow, and a barracks and being built. So Sokol pretty much doing a standard um standard strategy at this point. Meanwhile, Bosu Hei going with that um, Crypt, Ultra of Darkness, and Ziggurat. So both of these are pretty much your standard plays right now. Tomo Relic's now being brought in. So pretty much one of those cookie cutter builds which lead to um, a very efficient early game and, and mid game right now. We have the Blade Master being and brought in by Sokol. And the Blade Master is just one of those heroes that um, it's just so so controversial. If, if you remove the Blade Master from the Orc army, it just seems so much weaker, but um, but at the same time, it, including him, just it gives so many h um, headaches, especially to, I would say, undead and human players. The undead player, even though they get a um, what dust of appearance from their own shop, don't have a real good counter to that um, to that blade master, even if they try to go the, for that frost armor second and just continue to try to use use everything that they have to really counter that blade master. That blade master is just so strong right now. Right now we have a ghoul still being trained up, and Death Knight going to be popping out in just a second, going to probably buy a rod of necromancy. We have an acolyte now doing some scouting, able to scout out the location. Sokol getting that voodoo lounge right now, and that Blade Master now heading out. Blade Master perhaps going to go after, um, try to pick up a circuit of nobility, sell that scroll of town portal, and then try to take down some of those ogre warriors right there. Yes, and sells the scroll of town portal, picks up the circuit of nobility, but is not dry, not going to take out any of those units. Blade Master is doing a straight beeline move for the ogre warrior over here. So trying to take down the ogre warrior over here, and w while the Death Knight is now going to be coming back over. Bosuhei may be able to um, stop that um, creep kill. No, not going to be able to. Down it goes, picks up a gloves of haste. Death Knight is going to figure out that yes, in fact, um, uses that dust of appearance. Does he? Yes, he does. In fact, reveal that Blade Master trying to chase back that Blade Master right now. Blade Master is able to escape and head back out. Perhaps that um, Blade Master will try to take down um, the one that one particular ogre warrior over here. No, trying to chase down that Bla uh, Death Knight right now. Death Knight down to uh, now Death Knight engaging in those creeps right now. Ogre Lord trying to chase him down. Maybe able to get one or two hits off, getting one hit off on that Death Knight. Death Knight able to now once again escape back out. Blade Master continuing to move around that map. Ghoul and what grunts now in play. Blade Master perhaps going to buy some um, healing salves and maybe a clarity potion. No, no clarity potion. Just going to heal himself back up and then head over to this particular um, shop over or the Ogre Warrior location right over here. But that Death Knight is still close by getting the Death Coil off on that Blade Master. Blade Master once again has to use another clarity potion. Just trying to make sure that he uh, keep him honest and just use a lot of those clarity potions. Posh, um, Scroll of Healing or Boots of Speed. Boots of Speed being purchased by that Death Knight. So the and Death Knight has that Boots of Speed right now. And now trying to head off over here to the south hand side. Ogre Warrior is still fighting over here. No dust of appearance being used. Bosuhei getting a critical strike and now going after those um, Ogre Warriors. Ogre Warriors um, disrupting the healing once again on that Blade Master. Blade Master is going to be forced to run back away. Blade Master is still seen at level 1. Death Knight still seen at level 1. Meanwhile, we have some ghouls doing some um, creeping away from that Death Knight. So the Death Knight will be earning some experience as well. So we'll see how that works out. Blade Master trying to head back off to that north hand side. Grunts moving away. If the Death Knight is able to out level that Blade Master, that's going to be very important. Let's see how this is going to really work right now. Bosu Hei perhaps going to try to take down some of these Ogre Warriors in order to get to level 2. I don't know what item that was, but those ghouls determined that if the Death Knight cannot get to it, then no one should get it. And now um, the Death Knight now heading off to that north hand side. Yeah, it, um, does not. There is no item there, so it was unable to see. Picks it using that rod and necromancy, and now trying to move back out. Blade Master, on the other hand, trying to take down these ogre warriors. 
Ogre Warrior going to give another final item to that Ogre, um, to that Blade Master. Blade Master hoping for a call to attack plus six, most likely getting a Ring of Protection plus two. Very useless item for that Blade Master, but Blade Master decides to finish off this particular creep camp, as it will be able to finish off this creep, get to level two, and then Wind Walk and, and Healing Salve away. Death Knight, on the other hand, Death Knight now sitting at level two, still has that boots of speed. Blade Master now running away, going to Healing Salve, most likely in just a moment. There it is, healing himself back up right now. Ghouls now coming off from the creeping in order to get some additional lumber still at um, right now at halls of the dead so uh, now in taking a quick tech to black citadel so already at black citadel attack blade master on the other hand trying to continue to creep you're going to try to take down these ogre warriors death knight now trying to take down these gigantuan sea turtles very smart move by bosuhei trying to make sure that um that when the shadow hunter comes out the shadow hunter is not going to have as many places to creep as that blade master is going to try to harass him and death knight now perhaps going to try to push into that main base but that blade master right here seen over here maybe level three no it's just at two and a half right now and that death knight now trying to come in and try to take down this bestiary just with, just with this couple skeletal minions and Death Knight now trying to press in these bestiaries down to 310 hit points. And now um, the Death Knight trying to run back away. The bestiary down to 240 hit points. And that Death Knight is able to escape Unholy Aura and that Boots of Speed making that uh, w making that unit w run pretty quickly right now. Bestiary uh, down to 250 hit points was able to destroy all those skeletal minions. And the Death Knight now trying to push back out. Um, Acolyte coming back into that main base. And Crypt Fiend now um, um, Burrow being re um, researched from the Crypt. Slaughterhouse being produced and a sacrificial pit. So that sacrificial pit being used in order to give true sight from that shade in order to make sure that there is no Blade Master around. Shadow Hunter now going to go out and do some creeping against this Ogre Warlord camp right over here, making sure to take down these um, these particular troll berserkers more quickly as those um, troll berserkers are have a higher DPS than those Ogre Lords right now. Trying to go after that um, Troll Warlord. And right now we have a, a single Skeletal Minion trying to keep track of where um, the army of Sokol is. Sokol is going to be revealed. Down goes this level 6 Troll Warlord. Probably going to give level 2 or level 3 to this Blade Master. Oh, one more kill right here. Is it? Yes, right there. So level 3 on that Blade Master. And, and Devotion Aura off on that Blade Master. Shadow Hunter now seeing that level 1. Um, but we'll probably get to level 2 off of this level 3 and level 4 creep camp right now. Death Knight now trying to creep out these uh, these level 7 Gigantuan Sea Turtles. Finally able to use that shade in order to creep in peace. And Shadow Hunter now sitting at level 2, getting some healing wave right now. Blade Master now going to come in. No, Blade Master does not rev um, see the Gigantuan Sea Turtle over here creeping. So very nicely done. Blade Master now trying to head back into that main base. Lich currently in play. Lich go and now down goes a single ghoul. Another ghoul is going to go down. Oh, that's a perfect timing to, to um, come in and intercept two walking ghouls. That was very, very lucky. Gigantic Sea Turtle down to 110, 90, 21. Down it goes and picking up a Tome of Agility. So very nicely done. Blade Master is going to be revealed right there. Let's see if he's really going to be able to um, use that Dust of Appearance to make sure that that Blade Master is still there. Has a shade. Not quite sure why he still wanted that Dust of Appearance. Now going after that, um, not going after that Blade Master. Blade Master trying to fight back even more. Dust of Frost Nova and Death Coil trying to take down that Blade Master. Blade Master down to 120 hit points is going to be forced to escape. Dust of Appearance still on him, flashing, and that Blade Master is able to escape right there. Shadow Hunter is now sitting, still sitting at level 2. Didn't do any additional creeping. A little bit surprised by that. Um, Death Knight, on the other hand, sitting at level 3. Lich sitting at level 1. Orb of Corruption now going to head out to this north hand side to try, try to creep out this other spawning location as the Shadow Hunter is going to creep out these level 3, level 3, level 2, level 2 particular creep camp. Blade Master is still doing some scouting, making sure that there is no army nearby. Lich trying to take down some of these Gigantuan Sea Turtles now. So Sea Turtle taking an additional um, 6 damage from every attack right there. Down goes that Sea Turtle. Mantle of Intelligence uh, being picked up um, by that Death Knight. So the Death Knight has additional Death Coils. And perhaps we'll give it over to that Lich, giving him plus 11 attack right now. There we have that. No, no Blade Master. Blade Master now coming in from the back over here. Quickly going to get revealed. And that Blade Master trying to run back away. Most likely knows that there is in fact going to be a, a Shade continuing in this fight right now. Death Knight now trying to run back over here and perhaps we'll try to creep out this level 7 guy Jonathan Sea Turtle. Yes, gonna go ahead and creep him out right now. Blade Master still revealed. The, isn't quite showing that yet. And now showing that, um, well, that trying to take down that one low hit point, Blade Master. Blade Master able to escape right there. Raiders getting an, another ensnare off on the Obsidian Statues. Those Obsidian Statues not coming in. And now Wind Riders. So Wind Riders from Sokol trying to start focusing down that Obsidian Statue. Lich may be able to get it off a Death Coil, or uh, sorry, a uh, Frost Nova. Getting a Frost Nova off. Down goes a single low hit point Raider, and this fight continues. Hex off on that um, on that Death Knight right now. Death Knight down to 185 hit points. Uses that Potion of Greater Healing, continuing the fight. Um, 
No frost armor yet. Down goes another ghoul. And now the surround off. Oh, oh, wow. Nice last second frost nova death coil healing wave in order to make sure that that blade master stays alive. Um, Shadow Hunter still sitting at 90 hit point or 90 mana. Will be able to get an additional um, additional healing wave if it needs to right now. You have um, what a single shade doing some scouting in that position. A lot of ghouls and now trying to heal back up and trying to get additional mana. Stay tuned for part two of this replay between Bosuhei and Sokol here on Turtle Rock.